this year has been a tough one for Intel. Much like the performance of their 13th and 14th generation processors, the company faced its own share of instabilities. In an effort to cut costs, Intel had to lay off 1,500 employees across various departments. Adding to this turbulence, their former CEO, Pat Gelsinger, recently stepped down from his role. Now, in the wake of these hurdles, Intel is working to win back its customers' trust with the introduction of the Battlemage B 580. The specs on this card look promising, and it seems Intel might even take some losses to get a better grip on the budget GPU market. Could this be their chance to turn things around? Intel has officially pulled back the curtain on its new ARC B580 and B570 GPUs to give us the first look at the Battlemage series. These are designed to serve both desktop and mobile markets, and Intel's strategy here is clear. Offer high-performance GPUs at competitive prices. The ARC B580 is the flagship of this release, and it features 12 gigs of VRAM, which is plenty for modern gaming and content creation workflows. At $248, it's positioned to compete with mid-range offerings from established brands. Meanwhile, the B570, with its 10 gigs of VRAM, is a more affordable option at $219. You guys know, nothing speaks louder than genuine numbers. Intel just compared it to two GPUs, their own ARC A750 and NVIDIA's RTX 4060. For testing, Intel focused on 1440p resolution, which they think is the sweet spot for this GPU. NVIDIA's RTX 4060 is advertised for 1080p gaming, probably because of its smaller 8 gigs of VRAM rather than its overall power. When matched up against the A750, the B580 showed some noticeable improvements, about 24% faster on average across a test of 47 games. In 20 of those games, Intel turned on their excess upscaling feature. But since both cards are Intel, that doesn't really skew the results. Some games, like League of Legends, didn't see much difference, but Fortnite had a massive 78% improvement. For most games, the performance boost was in the 18% to 42% range. Compared to NVIDIA's RTX 4060, the B580 came out ahead with a 10% average performance boost in the same set of 47 games. They didn't use any upscaling tools like SS or DLSS to keep things even. The results were a bit mixed, Sometimes the B580 was 17% behind, but in others, it was 43% faster. While six games favored NVIDIA, 10 games had a clear win for Intel, with more than a 20% performance lead. The Battlemage GPUs bring higher clock speeds, with the B580 reaching up to 2670 MHz and the B570 up to 2500 MHz. These numbers are estimates, so the actual performance might be even better, as we've seen with the Alchemist GPUs too. One of the most important improvements is efficiency. The B580 runs at 190 watts, which is a drop from the 225 watts on the A750, but still delivers 24% better performance. That means it's potentially around 50% more efficient overall, depending on how it's used. Intel is also promising a 70% improvement in performance for each XE core, thanks to major changes in the architecture. The new Battlemage GPUs have better ray tracing units than before. Each unit can now handle three traversal pipelines, 18 box intersections per cycle, and two triangle intersections per cycle. To put it in perspective, the older Alchemist GPUs had only two pipelines, managed 12 box intersections, and just one triangle intersection per cycle. With these upgrades, the ray tracing performance of Battlemage is much faster, especially for box and triangle intersections. Intel has also improved its Exes upscaling technology. The updated version, Exes 2, now includes features like frame generation for smoother motion and low latency options for better responsiveness. These are split into Exes frame generation, Exes low latency, and Exes super resolution. Unlike Nvidia's DLSS, XS Super Resolution can work with non-Intel GPUs using special DP4 instructions, but the best results come from Intel's own ARC GPUs like Alchemist, Lunar Lake, or Battlemage. Intel spent some time sharing details about their advancements in XMX engines, AI, updated software, and overclocking. These are all important steps forward, and for those who've been following the rapid pace of AI developments, much of it may already feel familiar. The finer points are covered in their presentation slides, 
so we'll leave it to those slides to explain the technical details. What stood out, though, was Intel's focus on large language models. They've shown their Arc B 580 can process tokens, the building blocks of AI text generation, about 40-50% faster than NVIDIA's RTX 4060. Now, the RTX 4060 isn't known for its AI prowess, so this isn't shocking, but it does suggest Intel's Battlemage line might outpace AMD's RDNA 3 when it comes to AI-related performance. It's progress, and that's always worth noting. Intel is releasing the Arc B 580 graphics card as part of its growing Arc lineup. However, the company won't directly produce a B570 model. Instead, all Arc B 570 cards will come from Intel's AIC partners. This lineup includes some familiar names like Acer, Acerock, Gunier, and Sparkle, who have previously developed Arc Alchemist GPUs. Additionally, two new names, Maxon and Onyx, are joining the Arc ecosystem. Onyx is a lesser-known brand, while Maxon, although primarily focused on the Asian market, does occasionally sell products on platforms like Amazon. The Arc B580 is set to launch on December 13th, and the more affordable B570 will follow shortly on January 16th. So it won't be long since you can see how these GPUs perform for yourself. Before we wrap up, we want to know your experience with the Arc Alchemist series. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.